Okay guys, so let me show you how you can add additional custom fields to your WooCommerce product page using one single plugin. So with it, you can actually add a text field like this one. So basically you can type text, you can have a number field, so you can type any numbers you want. You have radio button option as well, so you can select any of those options. So obviously with the radio button, it's only one option at a time. And you can do the same using a button like this one. So I can say value one, maybe three or four. And again, this is one selection at a time. Or you can have multi-select. So in this case, I can say value one, two and four all at once. Then we have swatches as well, where you can select colors, for instance. Maybe you want the product to be in blue, perhaps in green. And again, this is single select. And then you can have it in multi-select as well. Perhaps you want it in black and red. And also you can have swatches adding images and patterns as well. So this is very handy, especially for furniture, maybe piece of clothing. And as you can see here with stripes, checkered uh, pattern and big squares. You can also use a drop down menu like this one. You can select the option that you want. You have a date picker. So this is basically the date you want to select. So let's say maybe the 19th of May and also a time picker. So here you can select the time. So let's say maybe 10, 30 in the morning and then click OK. And then you can also upload a file. And then we have conditional logic. So basically here you can define a condition to display or hide a specific field. So if I click on no here, nothing happens. If I click on yes, as you can see, it will display this extra option here. And now you can also set actions. So what is that exactly? Well, if I click on number one here, it will be free. If I click on option two, it will add an extra $10 to the subtotal, or you can also add a discount, so an extra fee or a discount. And also combined with this, you can add a conditional logic to display an extra field here for further information. And for this, we are going to use the Yeah Extra plugin from yeahcommerce.com. And this one will allow you to add WooCommerce extra product options. And for this tutorial, we're going to use the pro version. There is also a free version on the WordPress repo if you want to try things out, but obviously it doesn't have all the features. So the cost of the pro version for one year for the single site is 59 US dollars, or you might opt for the full license, a lifetime license in this case, for 199 US dollars. So once you have that, you can follow along with me. And now let me show you how you can set this up in the back end. Okay, guys, so welcome to our WordPress dashboard. So once you've installed Yeah Extra, you will find it here under the WooCommerce tab just there. Okay, and this is where we will start from. So once you click on this, this is where you can start creating all your different option sets. Okay, so let's create one together. So all you have to do is click add new option set. And let's say we're going to create options for this green living room sofa here. So as you can see, this is a regular product, uh, no options at the moment, regular price $1,200. And that's basically it. Okay. So now let's pretend that this sofa comes in two different sizes. You might have 74 inches and 78 inches and the 78 inches in is an extra $200. Okay. So let's set this one first and then we can add the color maybe and the, the choice of fabric, etc., etc. So let's go ahead with this. Okay. So we we go back to our back end this time we go to options add new option and as you can see this is option number one if you click on this you can expand and now we can set our different features here so option number one is like you said is going to be the size clearly this field will be required and what type of option is this so as you can see you have all the different options here so you have text number checks box a radio button button and button multi-select and so on so Basically here we have the choice among two different options and we can only select one option, 74 inches or 78 inches. So in this case, we can use radio button or maybe button. So we're going to use a button, which is maybe more suitable for our example here. So let's add our option values here. So the first one we said is going to be 74 inches wide. Okay. And then the second one is 78 inches wide. There you go. And then we said this one is going to be an extra $200. Okay. So how can you set this up? Well, very easy. As you can see, you have additional cost here. So click on this, enable that. And now we can add a fixed amount or a percentage. So in our case, it's a fixed amount of 200. And now we can add the value here. So we're going to add 200. Okay. There you go. And now let's click save changes for now. So if you go back to the front end and refresh our page, there will be no changes because we haven't assigned those conditions 
those options to this type of product okay so what we need to do now next to test this step by step is to go to the product section here and now we need to assign this so this is the green sofa okay so there it is green living room sofa so tick that box and click set as assigned and right here as you can see the status has changed and now we need to enable it so just make sure that this rule is active and click save changes again and now if we go back to the front end and refresh as you can see now we can select among those two different sizes so if i click on 74 inches there are no changes obviously but if i click on 78 as you can see it's added a 200 dollar extra subtotal here equaling a total of 1400 so this is basically how you can set this up so now let's add a feature where you can select the color and also the type of fabric that you want okay so next we go back here and we go back to options and let's add a new option so this time we're going to select a color okay so this is going to be swatches and obviously this one is only just one option at a time so it's not multi-select but it's available as well okay so let's click to swatches we go back to option values add option values and we're going to select the first one so let's say this one is available perhaps in brown and also in dark green okay so these are the two colors available and now we can select the color itself so let's select brown perhaps this is the color brown and we're going to select green as well and like we said it is a dark green so there you go so let's put this to the test we save those changes we go back to the front end refresh and now as you can see you can select the size and the color so either brown or green so maybe this one is available on two different types of fabric okay now let's set this up together so we go back here to the back end we're going to add a new option so this one is going to be swatches as well so fabric type okay and again this is swatches but this time instead of color we're going to upload an image okay so let's do this together so add option value so here as you can see I have an option to select an image so upload image upload file select file and i found two different files here online so we have this one here and this one okay so you can multi-select using the uh, control key and then open so let's select this one for the first one and let's add another option and this time we're going to select the other image which is this one here okay select so i don't know the exact terms but let's say this one is called type one and this one is called type two okay and now as you can see we have a small green dot here on top of the color now you need to select the image instead so click on this and click on that and as you can see we'll switch from color to image so if you save this now and we go back to the front end and have a quick refresh as you can see now you can select the color and also the type of fabric so this is basically how you can do so now if you go back to the back end you will see there are also advanced settings that you can choose from so you can decide to display that as a square as a circle as well or maybe as a rectangle and you can display that horizontally and vertically as well so let's try this together as a rectangle and also vertical okay let's click save and let's refresh and just to show you what's available obviously you know and there you go as you can see this might be more suitable as well for this type of application so now let's introduce some conditional logic to the story so basically if you go to the back end here let's add perhaps a feature where you can select custom legs so basically the sofa would come with the default legs but maybe you want to have customized legs and specific one uh, to fit your own taste perhaps okay so option one here we're going to change this so legs or custom legs i'm going to call it okay and for this one we're going to select perhaps a checkbox and if they tick that box basically it will show all the different options okay so option value here we're going to add a value so this one will be yes please okay there you go that's all just one option and now we can add our new options here with the different legs so this time we're going to select a swatches again you know so these are leg types and instead of text again as we said we're going to select swatches okay so we have the option values so we're just going to upload three different images here and then after that we can create our conditional logic okay so let's add the new value so leg one 
Let's add leg two and leg three. And then we can upload our image. So I'm just going to upload three different images here. Okay. So I'm going to select them. I found them online, three different ones. So the first one is going to be the basic model, which is this one. And then the next one is roughly the same with a bit of copper at the bottom. And finally, this one with a special molding, special shape. OK, let's add this. And now we are going to create our conditional logic. So let's click on this here Add logic condition. So display or hide. So in our case, we're going to display those fields if any of those conditions are met. So which condition is it? Is it custom leg is and then we're going to select yes, please. OK, now let's save this. Let's go back to our front end. Let's refresh. And there you go. As you can see, now we have that new feature here. And if I was to tick that box, it will display those small legs. There you go. Now you can select the leg type. So maybe I want this one. And that's basically how you can customize your product page. So now just to show you one more option, you can link additional product as well as add-ons immediately from here as well. So let's go back here and we're going to add a new option. So this one, we're going to call this one additional options and then we can select the type. So we're going to select swatches again for this one and let's add our different values. OK, so we're going to get, create three of them. One, two and three. So the first one is going to be a single blue chair. The second one, a bedroom chair. And finally, the third one is going to be a green fabric chair. OK. And we are going to select our images as well and link this to actual products. So as you can see, this one is single blue chair. OK, so we're going to look for the product, link the product itself. And then you can start typing chair, for instance. OK, so let's select this one here, blue comfy fabric chair. This is the one and we're going to do the same with the other. So we have the bedroom chair here, enable. Let's look for chair again. And there it is, bedroom single chair. And this one here, again, this one, a green fabric chair. So let's look for this one. And this is the one here, okay? So modern emerald fabric. Very good. So now we need to link those images as well. So let's look for those images now. We go to the media library. We look for chair. So this is the very first one, as we said. The first one is single blue chair. Select. We do the same with the second one. Let's look for chair again. And this one is the bedroom chair. And finally, the third one. Let's look for chair again. And this is this one. OK, so let's select. And if you wanted to, you can add the price directly next to the product here. OK, so plus dollar one twenty five. This one plus dollar two sixty. And this one is plus dollar three four five okay and then all that's left to do is to select the image instead of the column select these and then save changes and that's it now we can see how it works out in the front end okay so we go back to the front end let's have a quick refresh okay so let's put this to the test now so let's say we're going to select that in 78 inches brown color this type of fabric do you want custom legs of course i do and let's select the fancy ones so those ones and I'm going to select this chair here, the single blue chair. I think it looks good. So add to cart now. Very good. So if you go back to the top and have a quick look, as you can see, we have the green living sofa and all the bundle options that we selected. But it also added the blue comfy chair immediately here to our selection. OK, very good. So now let me show you how you can add action. So with an action, basically, you can add a discount or add a fee to the total price. OK, so now let's go back to our options here. And this time we're going to select actions. So let's add a new action set. And with actions is the same with options. You can add as many as you want as well. So if you click on this, it's going to expand all the options. And now we can set that up. So if any or all of these conditions are met, then the action will be uh, triggered okay so let's add a condition so let's say if they select the color green you're going to add 250 dollars to the, the price and if they select brown they'll get a discounted price of 150 okay so if color is let's say dark green then you add a fee in this case and we said we're going to add an extra 125 dollars okay and this is green premium let's say okay and now we can add another action. And this time, this one is for the brown color. OK, so if the color is 
and then brown. Then we're going to offer a discount. We said $125 discount. And here is brown standard then, okay? So the premium one is more expensive than the standard one, okay? So let's save those changes. So this is basically one type of action. Now let's go back to the front end. Let's refresh. So again, we're going to select the standard 74 inches. Now, if I select brown, as you can see, minus 125. If I select green, it's adding 125. So this is basically how actions work. And finally, let me show you the settings here. So if you go back here, we have customize and settings. So right from here, you can customize everything you want. So basically the way it shows in the front end, as you can see, you have the font size, the font weight for the price as well. You might want to select a thicker font maybe for the price. So it stands out and make it a little bit bigger, maybe 18 pixels for your swatches is the same. Do you want to add a border around it? the border style and the tooltip where do you want to display it at the moment is at the bottom maybe you want to display it on top on the left on the right and you can change different colors as well for your buttons is the same feature as well you can add borders change the colors and all that and you can even add custom css very good so now would you like to know which are the three best hosting for wordpress if this is the case you might want to watch this video here